Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Coco Sims and I am officially back. Yes, I am back with a brand new realistic fresh LP for you guys. Um, I know I've been away for a while. I've been handling some personal things. But I am back with my gameplay. This time it's going to be like a little machina type vibe. Mixed with gameplay. Mixed with realism and stuff like that. So if you love realistic gameplay, make sure you subscribe. And I'm not going to talk y'all ear off too much. So let's just get right into it. As you can see, they are at their new house, settling in. It's a big, beautiful house. This house is by Soul Sister Sims. Um, she got some amazing builds. Like, I love all her builds. Like, this is like the bomb like <laughs> and obviously they are located in San Mishuno aka Kali in my game so this is their environment they are well paid I wanted to play a little high maintenance family this time because you know why not so <laughs> let's get right into introducing the family so this is the right family they are so adorable like when i was making them in cast i was like you know what i have to make an lp for these this family like they are so cute so here we have these two beautiful twins they look like their mom and their dad but i think they look more like their mom so leave a comment um, stating if you think they like their mom or their dad, whatever. This is my first LP, y'all, so y'all gonna have to just bear with me, okay? Okay, so we have Addison and Ava, or Ava and Addison. Ava is the girl, and Addison is the boy. Um, we're gonna talk about Ava first, so Ava she gets her way you know you see they got the drip they they stay fresh they they mind their parents don't play about their clothes like they make sure they have the latest fashion that's yeah that's the type of family they are so ava she's spoiled um she's very angelic but she gets her way um this is a recording i already played the game so i already know how they are <laughs> And these twins are a handful, okay? Ava is definitely a handful, but she rides for her brother. And her brother, on the other hand, is very spoiled. <laughs> He's so adorable. He's so cute. And he will throw a fit. He definitely will throw a fit. And he's, yeah, he's very spoiled, and he would definitely throw a fit. He throws temper tantrums a lot. He's very emotional, too, like his mother. And Ava pretty much takes after Samaj. She's like tough but angelic at the same time. And these two lovebirds, they are so freaking cute. These two lovebirds have been together for about eight years and they are deeply in love with each other. Like deeply. Unconditional black love. Okay. So right here we have Samaj. Samaj is a goofball. <laughs> He's very funny. He's a papa bear. He loves his kids to death. He loves his wife to death. Um, yeah, they just got married about two years ago. So they're like, he's still fresh in, but they still deeply in love with each other. Samaj, he is thinking about and getting a job and being a chef i don't know that i don't know yet though and as mara she loves to paint she's very emotional she loves her family she holds it down for her family extremely beautiful um 
she gets a lot of compliments and she's is she's heavily adored and but she's very emotional she gets stressed out easily if things don't go her way so yes that is them and she also is heavily into the fashion industry beauty industry so i'm thinking about what type of jobs i want to get them based on their personality so that is that you know i gotta give y'all a house tour okay so this when you first come in this is just like a little area where you just walk in and you know just look around at your house like okay i'm home <laughs> i didn't decorate it this is how it came it really wasn't a lot for me to do um i'm definitely going to hang up some you know urban type decorations but that's about it and I, I didn't really have to do nothing to this house this house is absolutely amazing like for somebody to create a house like this is super talented like seriously so anyway so this is the kitchen area this is like the bar area where you know they just sit down and talk go over some work um as mira loves to read she's like a heavy heavy reader like heavy she reads a lot about um mythology spiritual stuff fashion she's heavy in reading about religion she's heavy about reading about different type of stuff like you see all of these books here like she's really a heavy 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 reader so she has all types of books she's heavy in social studies too she just loves learning about her history she loves learning about her history she loves reading her books like she would sit by herself and read for hours so yeah Oh, she also loves reading cookbooks as well. So I like Asmira. Like, she is like a good wife. Like, a really good wife. <laughs> um, as you can see, she got all of these mythology books. She got all the Bibles you can think of. <laughs> she got the Old Testament, the New Testament, child. So... This is the kitchen area. She sits here and also does her work. Um, like I said, she's into fashion and stuff like that. So let's go in the kitchen. They got the air fryer. They got the toaster. They got the avocado. As Mira cooks like vegan food. She tries to cook vegan food. She's trying the vegan thing. She's trying to be healthy and stuff like that. But I think today she wants to make some soul food since, you know, it's the big day. <laughs> so they got the tea, sugar, coffee, you know, the stove over here. You got recipe books, have the granny cookbook, Kwai B, I think that's her name. You have SNS cookbook, you have Ani recipe book bag i got all the mods for food like i'm obsessed with sims and food mods i don't know why but maybe because i personally like food <laughs> so here is the dining room you know they got the little donuts on the table they candles you know at first i didn't like this aesthetic because it was i don't know it was something with the chairs with me so over here is like part of their living room. They have a big, big ass living room. They have a major living room. I like their living room though. It's real cute, very cozy. And this magazine bag really stood out to me because it looks so real. It's so realistic. So this is where they, you know, hang out at. Asmira drinks a lot of coffee flavored drinks too. She loves coffee, pumpkin spice, cappuccino, americano. <laughs> She's heavy on that too. So over here, 
is the second part of their living room. They have a big living room. Here, I don't know who this is. I gotta update the pictures, whatever. So what's crazy is, I thought this picture on a fireplace was not a TV, but it is. So I, me, I put a TV here so they can sit down and watch TV. But this is the last part of their living room here. Big, big ass couch. Like, big ass couch. So, that's their living room area. Super huge. They're going to have a huge family, so this is why I got this house. Like, I want them to be rich. They're high class right now, but I want them to be rich. So, right here, this is what's crazy, y'all. Look at this. Do y'all see this? This is so beautiful. Can you imagine having this in your backyard? Like, got the little plant chairs where they just, it's like they're in another world. Like they're in a jungle or something when they come outside their backyard. They have a waterfall in their backyard. Like Soul Sister Sims, girl. It's their bathroom. You see Asmira and Samaj robe over there. So they share this bathroom down here. And the view is so beautiful. Like the view is just absolutely amazing. So this is their sink over here. And this bathroom is like a walk-in shower, I believe. Yeah, I believe so. It's like a walk-in thing. This is really cute. You know, they got their little bench here. You know, nothing major. It is major, but this is Addison's room. And this toy right here is so cute. His toys are so cute. You know, like the wallpaper, the bed. This bed is so cute. Like, it's, it's just... I'm loving the aesthetic. They got the chair. You know, when um, his parents read to him, he has a bookshelf where his mirror likes to read. You know she likes to read to her baby. <laughs> um, so he got some books, some little history books, um, toys. This is, this is his dresser over here where all his clothes is. And this is where he sits down and play. He likes to play over here with his little cute self. So yeah, this is his room. So, um, Why well, I keep saying so much? Because he looks just like so much. He, look, he looks just like his daddy. <laughs> and his mom too. So this is Ava's bed. It's actually not Ava's bed anymore because... It turned out to be a children's bed, and I was so mad because I really thought it was a crib. Got her little stuffed animals over there. She got her cute little potty over here. Like, her room is adorable. So, I lost footage of Ava's room, but that's okay. Y'all gonna see it in the future. And this is Esmera's bathroom in here. And this is where she does her makeup and stuff like that. She sits in here doing her little self-care. She got her little toilet, her toilet paper over here. She just sits down and do her thing. And over here she has all of these makeup supplies. And she has um, her brush, her jewelry, her face cream over here. And then she has her pain medication well not pain medication like I said she gets emotional sometimes so she'd be taking some stuff <laughs> then she got her nail polish over here stuff like that so like I said this is Asmira's bathroom this is her personal space where she does her face and her skincare 
she's very serious about her her skin like she makes sure her, her skin is clear as you can see from what she looks like hello so yeah this is her room and her room only and this is their attic um this was empty at first but i decided to put a little laundry room up here so i did this <laughs> I'm not a builder. I'm not. I just throw stuff together. So I put a little seating area over there. You know, they can sit down and read their books while they clothes washing. Put their little New York tan tree over there. I think that's what it's called. And then a little attic light bulb. Um, you know, they had their little clothes, their washing machine, they tied, they detergent, they softener. Got some clothes up here. Got the broom up here. I forgot to put a vacuum cleaner up here, but they just moved in not too long ago. So their boxes and stuff is up here. So yeah, this is their little attic. So cute. I like it. Very different. Very unique. So yeah, they're going to be coming up here washing their clothes. So that is the house tour. I'm not going to talk y'all air off too much. So now they're inside. As Mira is playing with Ava, Samaj is playing with um, Addison, and you see Addison in there looking like, "Hello, mommy! Like, pick me up." So we're about to get into some gameplay. About to get into some watching the family do their thing. So let's just get right into the gameplay. So we got some match over here. He's sitting down playing on his tablet inside of the guest room. Just playing on there. Relaxing, I guess. I guess he's addicted to this now. I don't know why, but yeah, he's definitely addicted. <laughs> so we about to check on the kiddos. So we got Miss Ava over here playing with her doll, her little Barbie doll. So cute. Um, yeah, so we're gonna check on the mom now, see what she's doing. Okay, so she's just here watching TV, chilling. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I gotta remove this TV here because, yeah. So you got some Majin as Mira trying to get it in while the kids is playing. <laughs> trying to be all lovey and dovey towards each other. All cute. So they flirting with each other right now. You know, talking about dinner, asking each other about their day. Of course, flirting with each other. You see as Mira cheeks are red, child. But Samaj is very, very romantic. He's extremely romantic. He keeps Asmara right on her toes. So he's flirting with her and stuff like that. <laughs> he's like, so tonight when the kids are asleep, you know, we're going to do our thing thing in this house. So we know this is our first night in here. And she like, maybe. We just never know. Are you gonna do that thing that I like? <laughs> They're durable. <laughs> so Ava and Addison is in here in a little room playing around talking jibber jabbing <laughs> they're so cute like they are really really close like okay all right edison talking his little butt off
as y'all can see, they did the nasty. <laughs> and all of my X-rated um, content will be on my Patreon at Coco Sims. So if you want to see what happened and how they got down, because they got down. Like, look at Samaja's face. They got yeah, they was, mm -hmm, he was in it. He was in deep. <laughs> so, you know, he's like, damn, I'm in love. And she's just going about her little time. And look who we have here. <laughs> so, Ava's just like, um, mom, get off me. I know you and daddy been doing the nasty. Like, get off me. Why are you touching me? <laughs> Like, she really declined her hug, for real. So, as Mira's in here, watching Ava, and I think Addison and Samaj is in here playing. Oh, look at them. They so cute. They so cute. Like, they father and son relationship is just, like, so adorable. Like... So I just love his children, like as you can see. So they just in here playing around, having fun, having a blast, enjoying themselves. Addison is in here having a ball. So cute. This reminds me of them old days when my parents used to do this to me. I used to love stuff like this. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Alright, don't drop him now. Like, that's giving me anxiety. That is so cute. Alright, so we all for that. Um, as Mira's in here teaching Miss Little Ava flashcards now. Cause you know she's two. Did I tell y'all their age? No, they're they are two years old. Don't mind me. I'm sorry about that, guys. But they are two years old. Um, they're getting ready for daycare, and um, yeah, she wants to learn. She's getting taught ABCs and numbers and stuff like that. So, and Ava's having a fit. She don't want to do it. You see her face. She don't want to do it, but she has to do it. <laughs> she like, mom, I don't, I, I don't care. Like, I just want some food. And I believe, so now I'm just going to go to the market, grab some groceries from Walmart. And yeah. So we're just going to watch Miss Little Ava learn. some water and then we're going to be on our way to Walmart to get some groceries alright y'all so Samaj is at Walmart had to pick up some groceries for dinner fill the refrigerator so they can get some snacks for the kids and breakfast, lunch and dinner so we're going 
gonna go right on ahead. So might as well shopping for his meat. <laughs> I guess he didn't know where to put the meat at, so I wish they had a functional grocery store like cash registers all types of stuff employees and they can actually go inside the aisle and pick up the food and put it in their cart and go to the register like someone needs to make that i know it's possible with all these mods going on okay <laughs> And Samaj made a new friend. I forgot his name, y'all. But he made a new friend around the way. Um, I'm going to make him his best friend. You know, when y'all new to the neighborhood, you got to find best friends. But this one going to be it, y'all. So, Samaj is at the register. We are going to buy the groceries using Insemnia's cash register is it a register i don't know i think it is a register but we're gonna buy some groceries or we're not so this is by insomnia she got bomb food like anything you could think of she has everything so right now like we're buying breakfast she has cornflakes fruit loops pops Honey Nut Cheerios, Frosted Flakes, Raisin Bran. She has it all. Like, she has everything. So we want to buy some cereal for the kiddos. The little babies. Um, my favorite cereal is honestly Honey Nut Cheerios. Like, I grew up with Honey Nut Cheerios with my grandmother because she liked it that so I was forced to like it <laughs> so now we're about to buy some bread and pasta y'all so we about to get some flour cornmeal because Miss Asmara want to make some groceries I mean she wants to make some soul food tonight because this is their first night in their house. Their first full night of living. So as me, I used to make a bomb breakfast. I mean, a bomb dinner. Why can't I talk today? So what else are we going to get? We're going to get some condiments, like some mustard, ketchup, and barbecue sauce, child. I'm telling you. I said they got it all. I'm telling you. So what else we gonna get? Um, we gonna get some dairy products. So they're considering being vegan. So they don't drink whole milk. So I got just yogurt for Asmara. She likes yogurt. They still eat eggs. Like I said, they're slightly, slowly transitioning, and they got. Soy milk. I think that's soy milk or oat milk. I'm not sure. And I got some more yogurt for Esmira. I didn't get too much dairy products, y'all. Because like I said, they're not really on that. You know, they're trying to be healthy. You know, they're trying to have the insides clear of mucus. Okay? So we're going to get some frozen breakfast. I got some eagles for the tech for, um... Evan Addison, we got some Morning Star vegan breakfast and some crustables for the kids. And what else? Um, let's see, candy. Yes, gotta get the meats. So they still eat meat. Um, I personally love meat in my game, so I'm trying. <laughs> To make them go vegan, y'all. It's hard, but I love cooking with meat in the game. So I got some leg quarters, some beef, briskets, and all that. 
cut them so they can rip it up. And I think that's it, y'all. Um, like I said, she has a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's about it, I think. Oh, I forgot the desserts. Um, get some ice cream. For Esmera, Samaj be eating ice cream too. He not low. Like Esmera be having her little ice cream and yogurt in the fridge. And Samaj eats it all. Like, don't y'all hate when y'all man eats y'all food, but they claim they don't want it? <laughs> um, what else? Let's see. I got meats already. Hmm. I think that's it, y'all. Let me see. Some soups. Okay, I gotta get the noodles. I gotta get the room, y'all. I mean, we still black at the end of the day. I gotta get the canned goods. I gotta get the noodles, okay? Now, I really think this is it. Like, Cynthia girl, shout out to you. You got you got it on. You got the food on deck. Okay. Um I think I forgot one more thing. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, gotta get the collard greens for the chicken, because I believe she's frying chicken tonight. Some hoagie rolls for some sandwiches. And, um, yeah, y'all, this is shopping on The Sims 4. <laughs> so, I'm going to get some some pieces for them to put in the oven. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, she got it all. She got it all. She got it all. She got the hot, she got hot pockets. Okay? And she got Plenty of foods from restaurants such as Buffalo Wild Wings, Starbucks, Subway, McDonald's. She has like everything. And it's absolutely amazing. So y'all, I think that's it. You know, shopping is very long for um on the Sims. Oh so, yeah, definitely gotta get some Capri Suns for the kids, some water, and um, some Coca-Cola, definitely. So yeah, I have to check, I think that's it. <clears throat> so, checking to see if we got everything definitely gotta get the snacks so she has Lay's chips all the chips okay so I definitely gotta get some chips the Samaj love him some chips y'all he love him some Doritos okay <laughs> I'm not really a chip fan. The only chips I like is Ruffles chips. I'm like obsessed with them. There's something about them. But I think we got everything, y'all. This is everything. And Samaj is going to go to Starbucks and grab him a drink. He grabbed him a mocha frat and they bad they bad so we're good it's enough for the clear <laughs> word all of my bitches got friends you don't need to pick no, all of my bitches Look, got I ain't really gotta rap about it, I just talk about it Cause I live it now So let me tell you about this PYT that I seen last week I had to take a bow Five. So Samaj is over here Grabbing him a frat And we'll see you at the house 
So we making Miss Miss Little Addison eat his food, and we're gonna see if he's gonna eat it because he's been throwing a tantrum. Wow, his daddy was out shopping, so let's see if he eat it, y'all. All right, he better eat it because Addison be throwing his food on the table. I mean, on the floor, y'all. Like. And Ava just sitting there talking up a storm, talking her little head off. And she's so adorable. She is so cute. Mm -mm. So cute. So now we got all the groceries. We're about to make this food, y'all. So, um, home cooked meal. Okay, this is all the stuff they need. Flour, collard greens, cornmeal, and all that good stuff. So now we're about to get the groceries because Samaj is back. He put the groceries in the refrigerator. And Esmera is going to make dinner, y'all. So let's put the groceries inside her inventory. Because that's how you do it. You take the groceries out. You know, very realistic. Just like when you're cooking in real life, y'all. So, we have the collard greens. We have the flour. We have the leg quarters. We have the cornmeal. And, yeah. Let's see if it works now, guys. Guys. Wait, what? Why is it not showing up? Oh, okay. I forgot. I forgot. You got to open the ingredients in the inventory. And then it should pop up. So I'm opening all the groceries that she need all the ingredients so you see how it comes up now so let's try it again and it comes up all right about to make some cornbread collard greens fried chicken party of four and let's get it can see dinner is complete that food looked it so bomb and y'all can get that from insomnia so so imagine as mirror just talking you know enjoying a dinner enjoying a night while the kids watch a movie and that concludes the end of their night guys so baby you a little 48 baby got a little candy in a pocket she gonna take off like a you already know, no, no, no. Dirty up a couple more than one side. Text you, but I know you probably go aside. You know I gotta come and check the whole man, baby. Hold tight. I just touched the side.
city with the cheap blood stainers And we got it down to buy some fit for strangers You know what it means when I twist these fingers Me and you been on a first name basis Why you think I hate it when you talk that trash shit Same reason that you never left me hanging Same reason that I tried to make you famous Same reason that I tried to show you just who I was Well, y'all know Samaj had to come and flirt with Asmir and try to, you know, get some again, right? <laughs> so that's what he's doing right now, y'all. <laughs> Alright guys, so as Mira fell asleep and Samaj is on his way out too, they had an amazing busy day today. The kids is down and that concludes the final, <laughs> that includes the first episode of my Urban Life Stories. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you love realistic stories like this. Um, next time, I believe, will be another story about another sim. I'm going to do rotations. It's not going to be the same LP. So, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.